Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Today we are going to take our new lesson, which is tens and ones. Let's count how much money do we have, and we are going to write the suitable amount of the, of, of the money we have. Here we have five and three ones. Let's count them. After five, six, seven, and eight. So we have here eight ones. Eight ones equals eight. And here we have, on the other side, tens and ones. How many tens? We have one ten. After ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have how many tens here? One ten. And how many ones? Four ones. One ten equals ten. And four ones equals four. So ten and four equals fourteen. Here we have two different numbers. 8 and 14. What is the difference between them? We have here the 8 is one digit number and the 14 has two digit numbers. So, do you remember when we took the word digit before? Each number has got digits and they are different from each other. Now, I'll tell you a story about numbers. Do you know that numbers live in houses like us once upon a time number 8 and number 24 were so tired and they wanted to sleep so the 8 went to its room and sleep but the 24 when it went to its house it found two rooms and, it, and we said that every digit number will sleep in only one room because the room takes only one digit number because it's so small. Can you guess what are the names of these rooms? If we remember, we said before that we have tens room and ones room. Tens on the left, ones on the right. One day, number 24 is going out of the house. So, so the digit 2 and 4 start to fight. Digit 4 said to the 2, I am bigger than you. Digit 2 start to laugh, ha ha ha, you are not bigger than me. You forgot my place, I am in the tenth room. I am not just 2, I am 2 tenths. And my place gives me the value to be 20. But you are only 4 and your place keep you and it is, you are just four, because you are four once. My lovely students, remember our golden rule, that we have to build the house on the numbers standing alone, beside the equal, tens on the left, ones on the right. Let's count how many ones do we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I have ten ones. When I when I can replace them and put one bar of ten. And every time I see this bar of ten, I will count them by tens instead of counting by ones. If we look here, we don't have to count by ones. We have one bar of ten, so I will count after after ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have one ten and seven ones gives me 17. Look at number 46. 46 equals what? Don't forget, we have to use our golden rule, which is building the house. So we have to build the house on the number tens on the left, once on the right so when i put them here i will find that four tenths equals what four tenths means ten and ten and ten and ten so four tenths equals 40 and six ones equals what one and one and one and one and one and one so six ones equals six A very important concept your child learns in first grade is place value. 
Let's look at the number 13. What does 13 really mean? We can write 13 in a place value chart. Now we see that 13 is 110 and 3 ones. But what does 110 mean? 110 is made up of 10 ones. In place value, a 10 is a bundle of 10 ones. This can be tricky to understand at first, so starting with objects can help. Here are some popsicle sticks. Let's group them into bundles of 10. One 10, two tens, which equals 20. Three tens, which equals 30. We have three bundles. Help your child to think of 30 as three tens and zero ones. Let's go back to our number 13. Once we are comfortable with bundles, we use quick tens and quick ones as our simple math drawings. Quick tens are sticks, and quick ones are circles. When we take apart 13, we have one stick and three circles. What about 24? What makes up the number 24? Two tens and four ones. We can draw this as two tens and four ones. Now you can talk about place value with your child. For more fun with place value, go to wskg.org slash good to know and click practice.